What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we're having a look at a meal management solution. Now the word itself pretty much explains it all. Uh, if you want to take food with you on the go, you either have to revert to a heavy and bulky uh, cooler for in your car or it has to be some kind of messy do-it-yourself Tupperware solution, neither of which is really practical. In come the shield from a company called Fitmark uh, that promises to be your one-stop shop um, solution to take your food with you anywhere you go, keep it cool, store a whole bunch of other things uh, and in essence make managing your meals easy and practical and carryable. If that's true, we'll see, we'll have a look at it now. So here we are, the Shield Bag by Fitmark. Now this is a company that makes all kinds of bags from rucksacks to duffel bags um, but they have a special section for meal management solutions. This particular example is the large variety of the Shield Bag, they also have a smaller version and they have several other uh, solutions that uh, either include or not include uh, space for storage like gym clothes and so on. This one is only aimed at meal management uh, and let's dive into it uh, right away. As you can see it's a fairly uh, straightforward boxy design. I like it, it's nice and clean. Uh, lots of zippers everywhere. Uh, it does come in a whole variety of colors obviously. This is the um, black and gray version I suppose. Um, we'll start at the front. Uh, here is a little pocket that has some extra padding and protection. Uh, suppose for your phone, for example, or stuff that you don't want to break or bend. You can keep that in here. Then on the sides, you have two expandable compartments uh, that have, uh, according to uh, Fitmark, an innovative extra mesh uh, part here, which allow you to go big or go home I suppose. Uh, you can even put a full size uh, shaker cup in on the side uh, which is nice because obviously if the mesh wasn't here you could only put so much in there and it doesn't really uh, do much but now you can actually put uh, some proper stuff in there. I uh, think apples, things that kind of stuff. Uh, the other side is uh, almost identical but it has some extra, you can see it in here, pockets in here and it even has a little strap for your uh, car keys or whatever that you don't want to lose. So that's another uh, you know, nice little extra. Here on the back there's a strap so you can uh, for example uh, put it around your carry-on luggage uh, or anything else that you're like a, a trolley and there's a little a large, uh, there's a large compartment back here for I don't know, magazines or stuff that you just need to grab on the fly. But obviously the main story of this bag is on the inside. Now it has two openings. Uh, first of all on the top, you can look inside. We'll have a look at those uh, later. There's a little another mesh compartment up here with a zipper. Uh, you can imagine storing protein bars in here, uh, cutlery maybe, uh, pretty much anything that goes. Close this back up. And there's another large compartment here, or a large opening rather, on the front where you can actually see all the way inside the box. Now, as you can see, it comes with uh, five toppers. There you go. Uh, with the nice four-way lock on the top uh, that are dishwasher-proof, microwave-proof, and so on. Uh, so this is where you'll be storing your food. Just to the side. It comes with five of these, uh, and it also comes with an extra um, sort of turnable system for your uh, proteins, uh, maybe some nuts, maybe some vitamin pills or whatever you want to put in there. Uh, so that's a nice touch. And when we take these all out, you can see the inside is divided by little separators. Uh, these have a velcro uh, attachment here on the bottom, so you can also fold them away completely if you want to. Uh, so you don't have to use this top of where you can also use your own um, whether or not it fits or not, so you can still stack uh, whatever you want in here. Uh, or if you have, uh, for example, larger items like bananas that you want to keep cool, still works. Same with this one, also moves, you can put it completely flat and you have pretty much one large area. Now as you can see, back here on the bottom, I hope it comes across on camera, there are little mesh pockets there as well. Now you could put um, whatever you're trying to eat in there, uh, but you'll be putting these in there. These are uh, two cool packs that come included with the bag, a big one and a small one. Uh, you put these in the freezer 
um, so they're frozen hard and then you put them in here when you are actually on the go uh, which means uh, this sort of large middle compartment stays cool it's all insulated material um, and that keeps your food nice and fresh uh, depending on what you're eating now these are uh, approved to fly with uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, going through customs when you take this on a plane and having your cool bag confiscated and your food uh, spoiled uh, so that's definitely a good touch uh, in my experience it keeps the food uh, properly cool as long as you keep it closed obviously uh, as soon as you start opening it up uh, it cools down of it, it heats up rather uh, pretty quickly inside uh, I suppose as long as you keep it shut you can keep your food reasonably cool for I guess four or five hours uh, depending on how quickly it uh, defrosts and how warm it is outside obviously if you leave this bag in a hot car uh, yeah it's not going to work uh, that well but in essence when you're on the go when you're traveling uh, when you're carrying this around uh, keep this inside and you're pretty much good to go for uh, at least uh, let's say half a work day you'll be uh, more than fine and if it's only to transport your food uh, for example to and from work and you just put it in the fridge at work perfect now the um, inside it's all sort of it's not plastic but it's uh, it's properly lined with stuff that can uh, you know stand to get a little wet um, they don't advise to actually wash this bag uh, but to sort of clean it with a damp cloth uh, don't use any soaps or detergents uh, in my experience as long as you keep your Tupperware sealed properly uh, you're all good as soon as you start leaking in here uh, it becomes a problem pretty quickly because um, you can probably imagine that cleaning this is possible up to a point but with all the little seams and cracks and whatever going on uh, when you have a spillage in here your bag I'd say is pretty much ruined and I've actually had meal bags similar to this before uh, and when it spills it's ruined that's, so that's uh, something to keep in mind um, you could put uh, like an extra zip lock around your toppers if you're not all too sure about the closing um, but I can uh, report that these are excellent because they have the four-way closing system so this won't leak especially since there's a rubber seal inside and this is properly closed uh, so with these you don't have to worry uh, especially on the beginning over time um, the seal might not work that good anymore and the rubber gets worn a bit obviously um, so you know keep an eye on that uh, Tupperware is not expensive um, in comparison to the bag actually the bag will cost you about 100 bucks uh, about 90 euros here in uh, Germany uh, so invest in some new Tupperware once in a while to make sure uh, it doesn't spill in the bag because that would be a waste now all in all this bag is fantastic as you can see it's uh, compact it's lightweight it's practical uh, you can store anything from protein shakes to fruit, bananas, uh, anything in here. Uh, if you're like me, when you uh, drop your kid off at daycare in the morning, go to the gym, then go uh, to work, in my case, train clients. Um, so in, in essence, you're on the go all day. This is awesome. Uh, you can put five meals in here solidly, two protein shakes easily, your vitamins, your fruit. Uh, you, I keep a notepad in here. Uh, when I'm seeing clients, um, everything is with you, uh, it stays cool, it's compact, um, it's, it's really, a, it's, a, it's a great solution. Um, the downside, I suppose, is that there's no storage for your gym gear or whatever, uh, but like I said in the beginning, Fitmark has solutions where you can actually store a bit less food, but a bit more other stuff. Uh, so if that's something you need, that's cool, you should go for one of those. For me personally, um, I want my meal managed bag to be a meal managed bag and not a gym bag or whatever. So I just carry my meals in here obviously uh, and I just have my gym gear in, uh, in a separate bag and the stuff that I use to train clients, I have that in, in another separate bag. I have it all in the trunk of my car, uh, so that's perfect. When I'm going on long trips, when I know I'll be gone for like uh, at least a whole day, uh, I like to bring this box anyway, uh, put my food in the cooler in the car so I make sure that it stays chilled as long as possible. Uh, mechanically and then as soon as I get out of the car I chuck the toppers in here and I'm good to go. Uh, all in all for me this is great I like it uh, there's there's really no um, obvious downsides to it apart that obviously I mean you're carrying food around so that's it's always going to be a bit cumbersome. The only thing that I'm not too happy about is the shoulder strap. Now it comes with two attachments here where obviously you'll be attaching the loop of the strap through and all as well. I'm not sure if this is a manufacturing mistake or whatever, but you can see they've put the shoulder pad of the strap on the short end. So I attach this and attach the other end, and the strap is all the way here in front. 
and it's supposed to be up here. And you can't really undo it. Uh, you could probably do it with a lot of effort, but the buckle here doesn't go through. Same thing there. So I'm not sure if that's just my unit or if that's the way it's supposed to be, but I can hardly think of any reason why it would be. Um, so yeah, I suppose that's uh, a small problem. Uh, but I don't use the shoulder belt that much anyway. Uh, so you know, whatever. But it's you know, it's not nice. It's uh, supposed to be correct, but it isn't. Besides that, fantastic bag. Definitely worth the money. Um, if you don't want the five uh, topper style one, they have smaller ones, like I said. Uh, so there's definitely something to fit your needs, uh, depending on how many meals or how much stuff you want to carry around. This was a quick look at the Shield Large bag from Fitmark. I'm Peter from Viewviews on anything. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. Catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!